What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the All at Sea group build. This is episode number six. Today, guys, we're back on the roof, and we're going to work on the base. I have cut the little form here that we're going to be using, and this is just plain old regular foam core. You can get this at any art supply warehouse, any art supply store. I got this at Michael's. So I think it'll be pretty decent. I've cut it into these strips here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to attach them to the base, probably with hot glue, because that tends to be the best, you know, for not damaging any parts and pieces. We're going to go ahead and glue our foam core, and then that will create a nice little box that we can then fill with our silicone rubber two-part mix. Once that is all ready to go, we'll be able to pour it in here, and then we'll be able to have a beautiful silicone mold which we can just break down these sides. Everything will be nice and dry, pop it off, and we'll have a reverse mold. So like I said, we're gonna be using a glue gun. I'm gonna run a little bit of glue along each side. Then we're gonna push it together and we'll be good to go. So for our silicone rubber, we're gonna be using this. Now I've actually drawn these lines in myself, measuring with a measuring cup and some water. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and we will have two clear cups that we can go ahead and use for our part A and our part B. Then we'll go ahead and mix them together, stir them very thoroughly, and we'll basically have our parts. So this is a really handy thing to have. Now for measuring the water and to get those lines drawn in, I used this, just a basic old measuring cup. I just filled up with water and then I poured it into the plastic cups, marked it with a Sharpie, and then went on from there. So that should be fairly accurate. Now for the base itself, like I said, we're gonna be using this foam core. I've got everything cut, it's all ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and queue up a time lapse, and we are gonna glue the sides onto this base. Now the nice thing about the glue gun is it shouldn't affect the wood itself, so we should be decent to go. Let's go ahead and use that glue gun, get all these sides glued in. All right, everybody, we have our sides nicely glued. The glue gun worked perfectly. And now we have a beautiful base that we can go ahead and pour in our silicone. Now for our silicone, I'm gonna be using this Umu 30. This is a company called Smooth On, and it's supposed to be pretty decent stuff. It's a part A and a part B, and it's a 50-50 mixture. So let's go ahead and start these mixing. We're gonna go ahead and pour this part A into this graduated cup we made here. We're gonna go about 1.5 cups of the part A, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing for part B. The nice thing about part A and part B is that, well, they come out different colors. We have the part B in one, which will come out to baby blue, and then the part A will be pink. Let's go ahead and open up part A, and then we'll see what we have here. Just cut open this top right like that. Yep, it's very much pink. 
and it looks to be pretty tacky stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get some gloves on, I think, too. So let's get some gloves on. All right, so I got my gloves. Let's go ahead and mix up what we need of each of these and see what we can do. All right, everybody, it's been about 12 hours since we poured our initial mold. And I got to tell you, this is actually very exciting here because this is dry. It takes about seven hours to dry. But what I did is I poured it before I went to bed and then I had it dry all night. And then I went to work the next day and it dried all day. So this has been drying for far more time than it actually is required. But again, better to be safe than sorry in my book. So we're good. We're gonna go ahead and pull off the sides. Just rip this foam core clean off with the glue gun here. It should not affect anything on the wood, nor should it hurt anything on the mold. So let's go ahead and pull these sides off and see how it turned out. Now I will say the Umu 30 silicone rubber compound mix is awesome. It's very easy to use. It's a two part mixture, part A, part B. Then you just mix 50, 50 of each. You stir it together till you get this nice, lovely lavender color. Once you have the lavender color, you know you've mixed it. You pour it into your mold, let it dry for about seven hours or a little bit more, and you are good to go. So honestly, simple, easy procedures. You do have to mix it quite thoroughly though because it is really, really thick stuff. So just make sure you mix it thoroughly enough. You give it plenty of dry time. And honestly, it's super simple. And if you're interested in making your own molds, this is an excellent product to go ahead and just give it a try. It's not too expensive either. And they actually give you quite a bit. Though I will admit, I use actually most of it here, making this large mold. And I made a few extras for another project, which you'll see a little later. All right, so the edges are off. Let's go ahead and check out how this turned out. Now you could reuse your foam core, I might, but we're just gonna put that aside for right now. This is what I'm really interested in. Let's see, let's go ahead and stand it up on his edge. We're gonna take this and just start just pulling it away from the wooden base, just like that. We're just gonna work all the way around one side. Then we'll do the other side as well, just separating it. Now this is silicone rubber guys, so it's super flexible. All right, that side is finished. Let's go ahead and get this last side. This is a little bit, oh, it's a little stuck on that side. We'll approach it from the other end. And just last little bit here. I don't wanna rip this or anything like that. I don't think I would, but I wanna be careful. It's my first time using this stuff. 
All right, we are attached. Let's go ahead and pull this clean up. Boy, it's heavy. All right, I'm on now. Just, I want to be careful. I don't know how it looks on the inside. And okay, it looks like, oh, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. This is actually very exciting, guys. It looks like we have created a reverse mold exactly as we wanted to try it. This is awesome. Now, if you look at the mold itself, there are a lot of subtle details that it actually picked up here into the mold. We have any imperfection we may have left there, unfortunately came out through here in the float area. We might need to trim this off a little bit before we go ahead and pour the resin. But honestly, this is super cool, guys. If you are interested in making molds, I highly recommend check out Umu30. Just go on their website. There's tons of videos online about it, how to use it and all that stuff. It picked up all of the detail, guys. Every little bit of detail that I put into this, whether it's intentional or not, it picked all of it up. So that is very cool. Though there are a little bit of flecks here and there of the plastilina clay. So let's go ahead and grab a brush and just clean it off. I think that'll be a good step to go ahead and do. So this has been very exciting, guys. But we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today. Thank you so much for joining us here. This has been a very exciting episode. I mean, at least for me, this is awesome. I've never done anything quite like this. And here I have an almost perfect mold of what I created. And that is super awesome. I cleaned up a little bit of the edges here with a knife. We've got a little bit of the excess here. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and come on back and we're going to pour resin. I think that's going to be a really good step to go ahead and do. Plus, we got a lot more to do on the aircraft itself before we're ready to go ahead and get everything squared away. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, you guys know the drill. Go out, get yourself some bench time, build something cool, have some fun, and we will see you back here on the next episode of the All at Sea Group Build here on Ben Builds. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.